Hi, welcome to Bearded Meeple. When we play most games, we're primarily focused on our own immediate play area. But every now and then a game will come along where it's good to take notice and interact with your opponents. Today, we're looking at a game for 2-5 to five people ages 10 plus. It plays in about 15 minutes and it's all about pretty trees and making tricky choices. We're looking at a game designed by Daniel Solis. It's Kigi. Let's take a look at it. The deck comes with five trunk cards with five varying symbols, as well as branch cards with the same symbols and commission cards that will be used to gain extra points. Each player begins with a random trunk, the commission cards and the branch cards are shuffled, and three are laid out. If at any point in the game there's three commission cards in play, simply remove them from the game and set three new cards. On your turn, you're going to take a card, you're going to score points and prune if possible, and replace the card. When taking a card, a commission card is set aside and will potentially give you points at the end of the game. When you take a branch card, you're adding it to your tree or an opponent's tree and scoring points. At the end of your turn, you're always replacing a card. Let's take a look at how you're going to design your tree and how the points score. When placing a card, whether it's on your own tree or an opponent's tree, there's a couple of rules. It may not cover a feature. It may not directly touch more than one previous played card. It must connect at the branches and it may not hang outside the play area. When it comes to scoring, you'll receive one point for each feature that is in a contiguous line. If it scores 10 or more, that section is pruned from the tree and placed in your collection. And play continues. And that, my friends, is Kigi, a card game that's not really a card game. It's more of a card placement game. And that's fine. I love them. It's light and strategic, and it goes hand in hand with its simple and elegant design and gameplay. Another thing I really like about it is you're not going to have to refold some rules and try to cram them into a box. They're all on the cards, and they're very easy to understand. This game is going to be a hit for sure. I do hope you get a chance to check it out. I'll talk to you again soon.